If you're driving through Mineral Wells near the Baker Hotel, you'd be wise to follow the signs to stop and do not enter. The Haunted Hill House. Experts have called it the most haunted house in the paranormal world. I won't sleep in this house. Um, I have before in the past, and that's when I was attacked. Attacked by what? They're not spirits, they're entities. They're bad things. Owners Catherine and Eddie Estes aren't the only ones who've been attacked. A lot of people have been injured physically in this room right here. Visitors can rent the house and do their own paranormal research, but most people who stay here don't make it through the night. Something crazy happened and they're like, we, let's, we need to go ahead and go. We've had scratches, bite marks, burn marks. And a lot of it comes from an entity they call Toby. We can go into Toby's room real quick. One of the women staying here took this picture. You can clearly see a face they believe is Toby. And it was one of the creepiest things. I've Other guests say they've heard Toby's demonic voice. Uh, it's very quick, <laughs> stuff like that. But what happened downstairs will make your skin crawl. The most you know, horrible things have happened in this room. Now watch. One of the women on the bed started taunting a spirit when all of a sudden something pulled her off the bed. So we're going to rewind it again. A year later, that same woman visited the house again. <clears throat> Something scratched her so badly, blood soaked through her shirt. At this point, I wasn't sure I was believing any of this until... What was that? Did you hear that? In the middle of the interview, we heard something scratching. My microphone didn't pick it up very well, but I'm being completely honest when I tell you I heard it clearly. I just heard like scrap. And a little later, I heard the same demonic growling many others described. I'm not convinced if it was a ghost, a spirit, or a demon, but I do know I can't explain it. And if you don't believe me, make a reservation, because I bet you won't make it through the night.